All right, everyone, welcome back. We got a good one today. 2014 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee with a 3.6. So a customer said he was driving and the uh, throttle light came on. He also said the oil pressure light would come on just blinking. It goes into a limp in, goes to a default, and you can accelerate. It just idle speed. Let me show you what we got for codes here. First one. We're going to be checking this one first, the P0642 sensor reference voltage. That could lead to some of these other codes here. Uh, we got some throttle codes, pedal position sensor. All right, so what I found is we have a few things on the 5 volt reference circuit for this. The PCM will supply a 5 volt reference on this circuit, and that supplies to the AC pressure transducer, throttle body, oil pressure sensor, and crank sensor. So I unplugged every one of these except for the oil pressure sensor uh, because that was underneath the intake so I just got to the ones I could get to easily. And so I back probed 5 volt reference. You can back probe any one of them um, on that 5 volt reference circuit. and we had short to ground. So I'm thinking, okay, the only thing we have left is that oil pressure switch. Uh, we need to get the authorization to pull the intake off and uh, see what's going on there. So we did that. The guy said, all right, while you're in there, I know that that uh, oil filter housing needs to be replaced. I gave him a price on that before. So we're gonna do that also. But I'll show you what we found with the wiring here. So we got our, our pins back probed here. This is the throttle control 5 volt reference circuit. Right now it's open. And you can see we found our short right there. And what it ended up being is the wires on the back of the connector, all the insulation is cracked. And that looks like it's shorting out on this foil foil loom there so you can see see right there the bare wires I can get in there for you right there so every time you move this back and forth we got a short and you can see right there definitely got a short so that's what's taking down our 5 volt reference Kind of a short video, but yeah, we're gonna replace that connector, get the uh, oil filter housing replaced, then I'll bring you back when everything's put together. And then uh, we'll show you, we got five volt reference back on that circuit and everything should be good. That is the culprit right there. So that insulation, I think it just got too hot over time and I don't know, it got kind of brittle and broke up there. Unless it's the harness got pulled on or something there, I'm not really sure, but you can see how bare wires and that aluminum foil basically caused the short. That is the connector. All right, so I got the intake back on here, lower intake. Uh, I want to be able to cycle the key on, so I wanted to get our fuel line hooked back up there. I did check to make sure we don't have a ground on that uh, circuit back there. So let's plug in. We got our uh, ECM plugged in here. We're going to be able to cycle the key on, and hopefully we should read 5 volts. That's doing that. Let's... Should be the right pin there. It's the third one. Uh, zero volts. All right, let's go cycle the key on and see what that says. We're shooting for five volts.
Alright, let's go see what it says. I'll be damned. All right, so it looks like everything's working like it should now. Um, all the other sensors are plugged in on that circuit, except for the crank sensor. I gotta get it back up in the air, change oil on it anyway, and then I'll plug that in. Get this all cleaned up, and then, uh, yeah, we'll have to probably clear some codes. Uh, throttle body's not in it right now. Air intake temp sensor is unplugged, so we'll have codes for all that stuff. So I'll get this wrapped up and then we should be ready for a test drive. So we'll see you in a few minutes and then we'll hit the road. Okay, time to see how many codes are in here. Let's see what it says. I'm guessing there'll be a few. Gonna do a quick erase real quick, see if anything comes back. Got one code there. HVAC, which is probably not related. Uh, yeah. Everything else passed. Okay, let's start it up and see if we got throttle. Alright, everything's looking good so far. I do have to bleed the cooling system out and then we'll then we'll take it for a drive. Let it warm up first. Okay, let's see how she does here. Nice and warmed up. It even accelerates. Look at that. are gone on the dash all right well that does it for this one I'm gonna take it for a long drive make sure everything is good make sure it's nice and warmed up and yeah same as always thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one